really an impossible impossible job because they really they, they know like everything like how to use a copy machine or the, a, how to fix an ATM or how to fill all the stocks or to handle those clients from uh, customers from Australia. <laughs> all right. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> so that's the reason I designed this question because I can't. I really can't think more things to provide in a convenience store. And obviously, one don't see that. So <laughs> her answer to my question is, convenience store already have most of the services we need. What my concern is that the workload of the employee, <laughs> think about how many kinds of work they need to fulfill. <laughs> my proposal is to do the recycling better, <laughs> or more job for the <laughs> staff. <clears throat> well, but it's, a good, a good touch. She said, there are simply too much waste in a convenience store. Like lunch boxes, disposable <coughs> equipment. So if they can do better recycling, then she might visit convenience store every day. Right. And today her speech title, uh, her project is Innovative Planning, Level 2, Project 1. And her speech title is, Are You a Leader? Are You a Leader? Are you a leader? Raise your hand if you are. No. Actually, I believe all of us are leaders. Let me share with you my experience and why. Everyone had its teenage. My teenage happened to be a super difficult one. I was a problem to my classmate, to my teacher, even my mother. I went to the most competitive junior high school and found myself couldn't compete with my classmates in terms of grades. My grades suck that it was impossible for me to go to any high school. So my teacher didn't like me. I had no friends at school that no one wants to team up with me in sports class. So I went to the internet coffee every day after my school to find some friends through this online gaming. My mother called the police three times because she couldn't communicate with me. My teenage was that awful. Until one day I walk out of school, I saw a car waiting outside. It was my dad's car. My dad was super busy during that day, running a company with lots of work, pressure, and problem to solve. But that day, he looked chill. He was sitting in this car, asking me where I want to go for dinner, like we were dating. So I followed him, and then we went for some food. Then he taught me math and physics. On the next day, he did the same thing. On the next day, still the same. So I started to put effort on my homework, on my math and physics. And until that year, I finally went to a high school that I want. And I had a successful and happy high school life there. So that was the first impactful leadership experience in my life. I realized that leadership is to carry on someone when needed and to trust him has the ability to achieve the things. Another leader I had was Bernard. He was my mentor in grad school. Every time we met, I speak, 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 and he just nodded his head and kept silent. In fact, he got too many experience. He had a wonderful career. He got a great family. He got too many reasons to tell me the things I should do. But he just kept silence and quiet. There's only once I was looking for an internship. So I told Bernard that I made 
and I luminize working in a company I want to work, but I feel shy to write her an email. So Bernard made me promise him that I will send her an email by putting him in the BCC. So BCC is a function that I could secretly send a copy of the email to Bernard without let, let, letting the uh, luminize know. And he made me promise him by making this hand gesture. Now who can reject a very senior person to ask you to do this? So I did. I replied him, yes, I will do that. At the moment I walk out the meeting room, I immediately regret it. Because I already feel super nervous and I'm so afraid of the, alum the alumni will hate me. And I could have lied to Bernard that, okay, so I did, I sent an email, but I got no response, things like, things like that. But since I already made this gesture, I need to follow it. So I struggled, struggled, struggled. After two weeks struggling, I send it. And surprisingly, the alumni sent me back an email warmly and introduced me to her boss. And we became friends, and we are still keeping touch until now. So after that, I realized leadership is also truly believing someone and trust his ability to achieve something, and just to push him to step one step more when he feels that he already um, reach the limitation. And after you heard my sharing my two stories, have you found something in common? I found that none of this are coming from workplace. We often been told that leaders are happening in the company, in the career and at school, we are strive to be a leader in the future and between colleagues, we compete with each other to get the promotions. But in fact, we all could be leaders in our community, like circle, guiding college students to plan their career path, like Aaron, create new ideas and theme songs for Nehu Toastmasters. <laughs> there are simply too many things we can do in our community, right? So, let me ask you again, will you be a leader? Probably. <laughs> Share with me your idea, Toast McMaster. <laughs>